Hey guys, Steam P back again, and today I'm here to show uh, my 100th video. Actually, this is because it's been a 100 because I've been making YouTube videos for 100 videos. Like, I don't cry. Actually, this would be probably nearly 110 if you look at my channel properly. But videos that actually have been uploaded to YouTube by me talking to the camera type style. This is when my 100th video. It's now just after a year since I've been doing these, so. It's kind of coinciding with you. The day, the day I'm shooting this actually will be my year anniversary and I'll post the video up. But I thought I'd show off my entire, I thought I'd do a, a thing that everybody does on YouTube. I've noticed a very popular thing on YouTube and checking out YouTube. I've, I've kind of one of these videos I've watched quite a lot. And because, as you can see, I've just got a new bookcase. So I've moved all my DVDs into order. What I'm doing, I've took out all my Blu-rays. And I'm going to put them in this cabinet, in the safe cabinet. But... Before doing that, I thought I'd do a display video, uh, my entire Blu-ray collection video. So, uh, let's start, because it's going to be a long video. Thank you if you're going to tune in for the whole video, thanks very much. Let's me, let me start with some things you've seen before. So, there is my Sons Anarchy Season 1-7 to Collector's Edition box, which I have previously done a collection video, uh, an unboxing video for. My Pulp Fiction 25 year, 20 year anniversary Blu-ray uh, Blu suitcase version which I've also done an unboxing for. My Alien Quadrilogy Light Up Illuminating Egg container, which I've also done an unboxing for, the Blu-ray and, and a small, almost like CD packaging. So these are the, these ones I'm going to show over because I've done these. These are the ones I've already done unboxing for. Next one is my Dark Knight Trilogy box set uh, on Blu-ray as well. Obviously it's a Blu-ray. Another box set I've done, I've just recently done a box unboxing for, and another one is from Dr. Dawn Blu ray Collectors of Titty Twist, Twitty Twister Collection Edition. It's all Collection Edition. So, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take this in a couple of shots. I'm going to have to move these and make some space. A few moments later. Okay, that's them back up here. So, let's just start with what I'll do is I'll do a mixture of my Amore steel books, and because I've not got many steel books, and my box sets, because I've not got many box sets either. They're not in any order particularly, there is some that may be in alphabetical order just because we have moved them out of the collection they've kind of stayed in alphabetical order but they're not in any collection, any format. So what we'll do is we'll start with this small pile here and just go over them. So there is Batman V Anthology from 1989 to 1997. These are Batman, Batman Returns, Batman Forever and Batman and Robin. A standard buy everybody gets because it is. But it's it's one of those films that everybody picks up because it's Batman, everybody loves Batman. Uh, Child's Play 2. I have all three of these Child's Play films, which I will get to wherever we are in the collection. American History X. Fantastic film, fantastic buy actually. Uh, because it cuts between black and white and colour, it was a film I had to pick up on I burned DVD for about a year, or maybe two years. This is the start of my collection, it was one of the first DVDs I bought. Just recently bought it in DVD, uh, Blu-ray, good buy in Blu-ray, uh, good watch. Next one is The Truman Show. This is just a standard comedy that I picked up because it's going cheap in Blu-ray. Next one is The Hunger Games Catching Fire. I've got the first one there as well. These are not mine, these are my fiancés. But because they're on Blu-ray, I decided I was taking them and put them in my collection because I looked up, I looked up when she was watching the first one and thought it looked quite nice. I'll be buying the in a couple of days because this video will be out of date by the time it's up probably because I'll end up be buying the new one of them as well for the next one is one of my only steel books on Blu-ray it is A Streetcar Named Desire now the reason I own this film is because it, I watched this when I was in English, higher English it was one of those films that uh, it was a, we had to do a screenplay and I found it in HMV for uh, so many, I think it was like 3 for 30 or 3 for 20 and 5 for 30 and it was on that deal and I liked Sweet Carmen and Desire so I had to pick it up and it was a good buy, good watch on Blu-ray, it's all in black and white as well and the steel book is really cool it just reminds, just brings me back to being at school and being in higher English because it was my favourite class at school next bunch is here there's quite a few over here actually, it's quite a big bundle so what I have here is Good Fellows. This is a double buy. I've got this and I've got it on DVD. This is my favourite film ever. This and Clerks. 
and you've all heard me talk about it uh, many times on this channel, but I had to pick up Blu-ray. Uh, I picked this up, I just watched it in DVD, and then picked it up again on Blu-ray, and watched it within the same week. That's how much I love this movie. It's a good looking Blu-ray, Blu it's a good looking Blu-ray, it's not amazing, but I had to pick up because I watched it so many times. Next one is the Dolph Lundgren Punisher film. Just recently picked this up just because it was going cheap. Uh, it was a good watch, it's a bit over the top, a bit not fantastic looking blu I have to say, but yeah, it's quite good. The 66 Batman film, uh, what can I say, one of the funniest films ever made, probably, I love Bad and West's Batman, I mean, I'm thinking of picking up the Blu-ray of the TV show that's just come out, Gremlins, the first one, this is one of my favourite Christmas films, if you don't know it's a Christmas film. It's quite a messed up Christmas film, and always, probably, I always said it's a great kids film, but really it's not, it's a 15, but it's worth a pick up really one of the first movies I picked up actually. Avengers Assemble. The one that everybody owns, everybody owns that film, not much to say about it. And Glorious Bastards, uh, one of Tarantino's films. Uh, Goodbye, I just, I've just recently picked this up actually. I, about a month ago I picked this up, good watch as well. Next one is the section. This is a special one. This is one with a slipcase on it, but it's not that slipcase does not belong to this Blu-ray. That's I this slipcase for another Blu-ray. Then I picked up this one because it's triple discs and it has a comic book with it as well. It's and it's one of those films that kind of as soon as I seen it, I knew I had to get it Blu-ray. I had to get a Blu-ray film. That's why I picked up the original one with slipcase. But then I had to obviously get the cool one, the cool one with three discs. Next one is An American Werewolf in London. Grew up watching this film. Uh, my father still got my dad still got this on on video. It's a fantastic horror film and it looks it's actually okay. It's an okay transfer. It's not a great transfer, but it's an okay transfer. A film that will be out of date next week because I'm going to buy a better version of it. This is Apocalypse Now. This is the one with Apocalypse Now and Apocalypse Now Redux. I'm going to go for the box set one which comes with the Artness, the Artness of Darkness, Heart of Darkness, the documentary on making this film, which is really good. That's a good film. It's not my favourite film, about, it's not my favourite war film, but it's certainly not my favourite film of Vietnam. We'll get to my favourite film of Vietnam because I'm Blu-ray as well. Next is ID. This is a football violence undercover cop film. This is basically, if you've ever seen Green Street, and a lot of people have, but have never seen this film, this was before Green Street. This is fantastic, this is a great film and I had to pick up Blu-ray because I found it in Blu-ray and it was going to, it was kind of going about the same price in Blu-ray as it was in DVD. Easy A, one of my guilty pleasure films. It's an Emma Stone film though and I love Emma Stone. This film is hilarious, it's fantastically done. It's basically just one big homage, big, big thank you to John Hughes films. That's all it is, it's just a mixture of all John Hughes films. First in this trial is Law Biden Citizen. A didn't really fancy this film. Uh, it was actually it's actually Alison's favourite film, so she made me watch it. And the end scene with the room going on fire. It's not much a spoiler, but the room the fire when the room goes on fire at the end. If you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. As soon as I seen it and I started watching Blu-rays, I thought that would look amazing Blu-ray. So I had to pick up the Blu-ray, and I was not wrong. Fantastic looking. Next is from Love from Paris with Love. This was a cheap buy. This was one of HMV's Make Any Pop Pieces Get for Half Price, Get for Five Pounds. And it was, there was nothing else sitting there I fancied. I'd been in buying Blu rays, so I'd had to pick up another Blu ray. I've seen John Tavolta of the Bald Head, and it looked like a, a bog standard action film. Bought it, it was an okay film. Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, a uh, nice suitcase. The only thing good about the film, you have done a few of done a view of that, you know what? I'm not a big fan of it anymore. I was. Kind of, it's a good looking Blu-ray, I'll give it that. Next one is Akira or Akida, depending on if you watch it right, it actually is Akida. This is a fantastic film. I love this film. One of my favourite one of my favourite anime films. One of my favourite any uh, animation films of all time is probably this and another one that we'll get to soon. But I love this film, it's fantastic and it was I bought it I bought it because they I had it in DVD, but I had to get it in Blu-ray because I thought it looked nice in Blu-ray and I wasn't mistaken. Next one is a couple of box sets here and I've got two box sets here and a couple of standard armories. Next, the first is the triple pack of all three of the Mad Max films. So Mad Max 1, Mad Road Warrior and Mad Max 3, Beyond the Thunder Dome. 
Now, this is, uh, I bought this recently, I bought this about a couple of months ago actually, maybe a year ago actually. And I only bought it with a steel, steel tin book, but it was going to cost £30 for the exact same version, but in a steel tin gas canister. It really didn't fancy spending £30 on it. Legend. Uh, the only Tom Cruise film you'll find in my collection as far as I know, bar I have Vanilla Sky. But this is, as far as I can think, this is the only Tom Cruise film I've had in Blu-ray because it was one of my own favourite films and it's a action, it's a mystical film. It's going to look good in Blu-ray and I wasn't mistaken, really good. Next one is an Talk Speed from Mystical. It is the Lord of the Rings Extended Edition box set. I bought this, I've still not watched them actually. I bought this because it's £20 and it can be at the point and I knew we can get it any cheaper than that and I would never get it that cheap ever again and I wasn't wrong, it's still going to and then when I went back up in price and it's really dear but this is fantastic, it's a really nice box set actually I really like the goldness and I like the map in the middle as well which is kind of the reason I bought it was this map here and just the armour, the, the actual boxes themselves are massive, like an old videotape box set, it's really cool and the last one in this bunch is Labyrinth. Speaking of my mom and legend, this is my mom's favourite film. I had to pick this one up. I've done a review of this film as well. It's amazing looking in Blu-ray. I must buy in Blu-ray. If you like Blu-rays, pick this one up. One more we roll here. Before moving on to the big stuff, this is Lego Movie. The special edition with Victorious as a Lego figure. I got this on Black Friday on the sale this year and I kind of got it for £10 this version and it's now, it's going for like the standard version of, the standard Blu-ray was going for like £13 so I kind of had to get this version and it's really good, this is a really good animated movie, it's not my favourite one but it's a really good animated movie. The Amazing Spider-Man 2 disc version, this version is, comes with Slipcase with the same artwork on it and it also comes with a comic book with it as well since you know, that season I got the Inception one and this is my favourite Spider-Man film ever made. The second one was Dreadful though, that one was amazing. Film that is creeping up and this is probably one of my favourite films, this is after Pulp Fiction, after Goodfellas, Clerks and Pulp Fiction, this is probably my second favourite film after another one I'll get to and I'll tell you, this is almost famous. I watch this film all the time. I watch this and another film I'll get to is a film I watch constantly. The reason I bought it in Blu-ray was because I knew I'd watch it all the time and it looked nice in Blu-ray and it's extended edition. Which if you're going to pick this film up in any format, pick up the extended edition. The film is better. It's usually extended edition to make the film longer and add extra things that you really need. This actually the extended edition makes the film more interesting and more stuff to it. Megan Fleety, new pick up. Uh, I picked this up just because it was, or uh, because it was cheap. Well, it's going cheap online, and I wanted that. That's the same person, but I wanted this because I wanted to see what it was like. I know it was a George Lucas produced film and a Francis Coppola directed film, or oh, sorry, Face First, directed by George Lucas, produced by Coppola. And I kind of wanted to see what it was like. It was okay. It was an okay film. Not my favourite coming age film. Next is The Aviator. Mark Scarey film, I own just about every Mark, I own a lot of Mark Scarey films on Blu-ray, I was going to say everywhere, I don't own them all, but I own a lot of them, I own most of them on DVD, but I own most of them, I own a lot of them on Blu-ray, love this film greatly, now I've got Capio, <laughs> Archer Season 2, random buy, I ran and picked this up out of uh, Entertainment Exchange, it was going to be cheap, I fancied to watch Archer again, and it was only one that I had in, so I picked it up, just because Armageddon, a film which is absolute crap and it's one of the, it's a, it's a terrible film, great action film though, it'll be looking blue day. Next is a film that I've picked up, I find I've this film in DVD, then when I started the Blu-rays I bought it in Blu-ray, then I found this version on Blu-ray and gave away my other Blu-ray and got this, it's Avatar, this is the tree, so it's standard editions, collector's edition, three, three disc versions, so it's got three different films on it, it's got the original, the collector's edition and the special edition. So there's like three versions of the film. There's also three different boxes and all two discs of special features. It's a great looking Blu-ray as well and it's really nice. So it's got this artwork here and then you take it out and it's got more artwork inside. And then it's got the standard box there and the box artwork's amazing as well. It's just, it is, it's one of my favourite Blu-rays I own. This is, this film was made. 
for a blue days. It was made, I know a lot of people say it was made for 3D. It was made for 3D, but it's also made for blue days. I have not got a 3D TV, I've got a 3D DVD, uh, 3D blue ray player, but not a 3D TV. And probably if I got a 3D TV, I'd probably end up buying my fourth version of this and going for a 3D version. Next is these ones here, and I'll take these ones. These ones are kind of an alphabetical order, so, sorry about that. They're kind of nice stuff. I don't like them in alphabetical. I like put them in order in alphabetical, but when I'm talking about them, I don't. But this is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the original 1990 movie. 19. Doesn't even say it says 2010, didn't come out then. This is the 19. Can't remember what you're asking about. 1990? Yeah, I'll go with that. This is the 1990 film. I can't quite remember what year it came out. This is the original one anyway. Great film. <laughs> the only thing is, on Blu ray, you can totally just. I know you can see it in the normal DVD version, but on Blu ray, they just costumes stick out as being just costumes. But it's a good watch. It's one of my favourite films. It's, I really like this film. It's one of my favourite films going up as well. Next is Teen, Teen Wolf. Another film I loved watching up, uh, growing up. I uh, like the second one as well. I don't have that one though. This is Michael J. Fox in it. And this is just amazing. This screw the TV show that they brought out. Watch this version because it's amazing. Next one is Ted. This is the yeah. This is the extended edition again. A hilarious film. Uh, it's one of those films everybody's seen. Everybody kind of owns. The next three days. Another film that's not really well known, but it's Carmen Cole. It's an okay film. It's not fantastic. It's okay looking at the Blu-ray but I just recently bought this as well, just because I wanted to watch the film again. The Adams Family, another kid, another film I love growing up. A uh, great film. It's just, it's what can you say? It's Adams Family. Everybody's seen Adams Family. At least if they haven't, go out and watch Adams Family, because it's a great watch. And it's good in blu as well. I've had that for a while. Sweeney Todd. This... Uh, the Demon of uh, Fleet Street, Tim Burton, Johnny Depp, one of the best of the last couple of years of Tim Burton and Johnny Depp. Uh, this is what it's a call, it's a sing along film, but it's quite a good watch as well. I like that film. Next is Taxi Driver. This is the first of my Sony collection. This is the 35 year anniversary version. They are all numbered. This is number one though. I've got a couple of these, I'm trying to get all the numbers. Not got all of them because a lot of the films I've never actually seen before, but this is one I've seen. The Marks of Scazy again, as I said, I've got most of his films in Blu ray. Okay, next three point, just as another box set. This is the Universal Classic Monsters Essential Collection. This is Dracula, Frankenstein, The Mummy, Invisible Man, Fight of Frankenstein, Wolfman, Phantom Alpha, and Creature of the Black Lagoon. This is just a standard version. Uh, I've got this in Black Friday pick up. It's really, oh, it's really cool. It's a good watch. All, the, all of them are really good looking on Blu-ray as well. It's full of special weeks. I kind of want the coffin box set though because it's cool looking. But this because it was going there for I think I got it for 10 on Black Friday sale. The Lost Boys Trilogy. This is Lost Boys, The Tribe and The First. I bought this because I kind of wanted Lost Boys in Blu-ray and I hadn't seen the other two so I thought well buy it on buy them all in Blu-ray because it's the same price for buying the first one and buying all three in Blu-ray. And I kind of wanted to see what it looked like, what the other ones were like. They're funny, they're not, they're not anything like the first one, they're just funny. The first one at least it was serious. This is my only Arrow video release for one, this is Porky's. This is the Kiki Hunter issue. This is a great looking movie and I love this one. One of my favourite coming age films. Oh, it's still not my favourite one, but this is one of my favourite coming age films. More rats! And they're going to make a second one soon, so yeah. But... It's more rats. It's one of my favourite Kevin Smith films. Uh, it's my only. I've only got two Kevin Smith films on Blu-ray, and this is no three. I've actually got three on Blu-ray. Sorry, this is one of them, and that's a good watch. It's a good watch on Blu-ray as well. Raging Bill, thirty year anniversary edition. It's got the same version on the DVD. Keep, keeping the DVD because it's more fine. There's more pack, better packaging with the DVD, but it's a good looking Blu-ray. I've only watched the first five minutes on Blu-ray to see what it looked like, but it's a good looking Blu-ray. Good film. Prison, prisoners, uh, Hugh Jackman and Jake Gyllenhaal watched this film once and it wasn't even on the Blu-ray. I've not even watched this Blu-ray because I can't, still can't go over the end of it. But it's a good looking film, it's a good film so it's worth watching at least once. I've picked it up because I like the film and I want it for my collection and I probably will give it a watch sooner or later. Next is just these couple here. Is, uh, this is 
this is actually going to be my first one of this collection that I bought from Blockbuster before before it shut down. So it is the Prometheus, as you can see, it's a rental copy. So it's just as the it is just the film. It's nothing special about it. I didn't mind it. I he's no Warwick Aaron, but it's an okay film. It's it's kind of it's a good setup for. I like the end scene. The end scene's the best part of it. But fast Michael Fassbender in it is amazing. It's, it's a good film at least. It's good Blu-ray looking. Another one is this is one of the first Blu-rays I picked up. This is Cycle. Uh, when I went in and just got my Blu-ray, I went into air right after it. Picked up a bunch of Blu-rays. What I wanted. One of them is coming up actually. Uh, but this was on the half price things. I picked this one up because it's Psycho and you have to have Psycho in your collection. Next two, uh, these are two here, so I picked this one up first. This is the one I went into HMV to buy the day I got my Blu-ray player. Because this was the last one that had been sitting there for twelve ninety nine for ages and ages. And I thought, kept thinking I was going to lose it, I was going to lose it because I wanted it. So I actually don't mind Transformers. This is Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. Bumblebee Collector's Edition and it's really cool. And this one is Darkwing Moon. Megatron collection. I don't have the first one in Blu-ray actually because it didn't. The only one of these I've got out is a Target exclusive for America, which is Optimus Prime, but it's really dear to pick up and get sent over here. So I may not have. I, I may just buy the standard edition of the Blu-ray for Transformers just to have it. Another double. Another one that I bought both DVD and Blu-ray just because I like the, the DVD packaging is Train Spotting. I love this film so much, it's one of my favourite Scottish films ever. In fact, it's probably is my favourite film which ever came out of Scotland. It's Train Spotting, it's just amazing. Danny Boyle does a great directing, Ewan McGregor's great acting, Ewan McBramer's great acting, Johnny Lee Miller, great acting, Kenny, uh, Kevin Kidd, great acting, and Robert Coyle, amazing acting. And it's a, just, it's a good watch, it's a fantastic and blurry. Wow, what a pick up in Blu-ray, one of the best, it's one of my favourite looking Blu-rays I've got actually. A recent pick up uh, is Toy Story, it's the only one I've got of this one right now, I will, I'm planning on buying the other two soon. This is my favourite animated film of all time. And I'm probably not the only person that's going to say that, <laughs> but it's Toy Story, it's fantastic, it looks quite good in Blu-ray actually. Total Recall, the remake, this is another blockbuster pick up. Picked up just to because the film was okay, it was actually an alright watch. It's a good, it was a, it was a half decent remake. If you watch it not as a remake, yeah, makes sense. It made sense to me, but it's a good film, a good watch. Colin Farrell is a wee bit uh, annoying. Great Becking Cell is a bit annoying, and Jessica Beale is a bit annoying, but yeah. A good watch all the same. <laughs> and Little Shop of Horror, that DVD, that's really good as well. Little Shop of Horrors, a recent pick up for me actually. I've been trying to, I've been wanting to pick this up for ages. This is one of my, another one of my mum's favourite films. Uh, I buy a lot of films that remind me of my mum and this is one of them. And I remember watching this with my mum's for many, many times. And it looks really good in Blu-ray and it's a good year to go. And it's actually a director's cut so it's got more to it, which I quite liked about that. Oh, we here, this is Dragonheart, another recent pick up, another film that reminds me of my childhood, great film, well, it's not a great film, it's a terrible film, but it's one of those films that I always remembered every part of it, but I hadn't seen it in so many years that when I found it in Blu-ray going cheap, I picked it up, because it's great, Dragonheart, Wanted, now this is, you'll remember it being my first, vid my first ever video was a review of this film, and I kind of slated it, and from then, that was a year ago, I still not watched it. This is the limited edition Real, Real Heroes edition. It's an okay watch. It's, it's not my favourite film, as you can tell. Film I've never watched, The Blind Side. I've got that, I've had this for about a year now, maybe a longer. This is another pick up from HMV Half Price thing. I bought it because Alison had went on about liking this film, and so I thought I'd pick it up for her. It's not. It's not a film I fancy, but I picked up for her and she's never, it's never been watched, it's still un completely unwatched, but I've got it just because I've got it. Another blockbuster pick up was Limitless, I picked this up because I'd been, I also had watched it and said it was quite good, so I thought I'd pick up on Blu-ray, it was going cheap in h and so I picked it up to give it a watch. It was an okay watch actually, it was a good look and Blu-ray as well. Uh, Dr. Seuss's How the Crunch Calls Stole Christmas, the Jim Carrey edition. Another HMV half price pick up, a lot of these are from HMV half price. Uh, this is an okay film. I don't mind it, I don't hate it as much as everybody else. It's a kind of film I remember 
doing when I went to that uh, has case has club I used to do and we done our we done this as a teaching method. Good. So I watched it just because of, well, I like it just because of that. Okay, now that we bunch here, V for Vendetta. Film a lot of people have seen a kinda of underrated comic book movie. But it's it's not great, but it's a good watch. The film the, the film the box set everybody owns. Star Wars I'm the only one though I've seen it online and still got the, the original casing because everyone chucks this away and just keeps it. Oh, it's quite nice, but I like this one it just because it sits there nicely. This is the complete saga, everybody owns this box, everybody owns and this may sound like oh blah, 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 but this was the first movie I bought. Alongside the the Transformers and stuff and the cycle, but this was the very first one I walked in and picked this one up. It was going for twenty twenty five pounds when I picked up. It's now going for fifty pounds, forty five pounds, fifty pounds. That's the reason I picked up because I knew it was going. It would never get that cheap again. This is my favorite film. This is bar the big obviously. This film bar of the bar the big comic book movies. Even in fact, if it wasn't for uh, Guardians of the Galaxy last year, this would have been my favorite film last year. This is my favorite non big budget film. This is Star Up. Fantastic watch and Draco Coral has has be became one of my favourite actors after after Leonardo DiCaprio and Jack uh, Leonardo DiCaprio and Brad Pitt. Draco Coral is my favourite actor. He is fantastic. Everything he's done is fantastic. This film is amazing. It's a great British film. Great we watch and it's I had to pick up as soon as it came out in Blu-ray because I love the film. The Help. A uh, film with Emma Stone. The only reason I picked up half price again H and B picked up because Emma Stone was in it. We were really surprised by the story, it's actually about slavery and it kind of surprised me a little bit about it, wasn't surprising it. Uh, another Martin Scorsese film, Gangs of New York, this is the most underrated of his films, this is one that everybody kind of forgets about. This is actually the first one he ever done with Leonardo DiCaprio and it's a great film and I picked up to it. I actually recently just picked this one up in Blu-ray. Fanboys, this was, I think this was another half price one actually I picked up and I only got it because Seth Rogen was in it and Jack, uh, Kevin Smith has a cameo in it as well so that's why I picked up because at that point I was at that point I still are trying to have not got them all but I'm trying to pick up every film Kevin Smith appeared in and at that point I was in a big Seth Rogen mood so I fancied watching it and it's funny it's a funny film about Star Wars so there's nothing else to say about it. Equilibrium Christian Bale film just picked this up recently watched it recently wasn't really impressed by it the action scenes don't look too great in Blu-ray, but it's an okay. Uh, it's okay enough to, for a watch. I maybe watch it when that. It's one of those standard action films you watch just to watch, turn your brain off. Next couple here is Dawn of the Planet Apes, the new one, and it's got a nice. It's actually quite a nice uh, slip sleeve. It's a uh, all embossed. Same one. I kind of want the, the steel book or metal tin version of it, so this is a good watch on Blu-ray. It's a fantastic look Blu-ray. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Uh, half price HMV one, I'm not going to talk about it. Uh, Casino, HMV exclusive thing, but I've just recently seen that these type of boxes, these type of things are on steel books in America, which is really cool and looking. This is another Mark Scazy film. This is another one I own both on DVD and Blu-ray. Just because the DVD had a little bit extra features to it than the Blu-ray did, uh, and but it's a good looking Blu-ray if you just want it for the film. The Blu-ray is fantastic looking. The original Carrie, I don't own the remake. I really make, I really shouldn't, but I probably won't pick up the remake because it was terrible. Wasn't a big fan of this film after I read the book, but it's one of those films I kind of still kind of like, so I kind of had to pick up Blu-ray. I bought it. It was one of the very original Blu-rays I bought. I actually really like it. Captain America Winter Soldier, another recent buy actually, it's just out, good film, it's good watch, I went to fix it, I've got a review of it actually on the channel, and this is another one of the Sony anniversary ones, this is a 20 year anniversary one, this is Boys in the Hood, this is number 7, love this film, I watch this one quite a lot, this is a great film about the hood in America, as you can tell, I remember watching this growing up, but I didn't remember it being as violent and as, as surreal as it was and it's a great watch. I watch it I watch this film at least every six months just because how amazing it is. Boogie Nights film with Mark Wahlberg as a porn star with a big penis. 
<laughs> it's a good film. It's one of those films that if you've never seen, you should just go out and watch it. If you have seen it, you should just go and watch it again because it's really good. Who Framed Roger Rabbit, the 25 year anniversary edition. This is another good watch, good film. I give it a glory. Well, well. A uh, film from a Ron Howard directed film and produced by George Lucas and it features Val Kimmer and Warwick Davis. Great fantasy film and a good looking movie as well. Now I know I skipped past Charlie and Chocolate Factory but I've also got Willy Wonka and Chocolate Factory. This is a good one. This is the one everybody should watch. This is a good looking movie as well actually and I picked it up. I actually celebrated Challenge Rock Factory first. I picked this up on DVD. I had it on DVD for ages and then I just decided to upscale into Blu ray. Another Stephen King film is Misery. The film I've reviewed on the channel and I've also got a, I've also got a short film of a remake, a short film I made off the, based off the book that I made for college on this channel as well. There's a couple of bits, there's another couple here. Men in Black 3. Blockbuster pickup, only one I've got, the only one of the main blocks I've got in Blu-ray is because it was, it was all there. Another Sony Special Edition one, this is number 6, this is Midnight Express. It's a good film actually, uh, I, this was a blind buy actually, I'd never seen this film, I didn't like the sound of the back of it. And I was even more surprised when I watched it, great looking film, and I only bought it because of the Sony thing. But I'll watch it now because it's a good film. Peach Dragon, one of the only Disney films I own actually. I really like this film. This is one of those films I kind of remember growing up as well. I remember the big green dragon growing up and I thought it looked good and blurry. And it actually kind of does look okay and blurry. Paul, another film I picked up just because of Seth Rogen. Good watch. It's all you can say about that. <laughs> the most over the top pun there. I just found going to come out. This is the most over the top film, action film from the 80s, uh, it's so bad but so, so good, this is over the top, this film is so bad, it's the one film over the top, not many people talk about this actually, the only person I've ever noticed talking about is actually John Flickster, uh, the flip pick on YouTube, he's the only person that actually talks about this film a lot and this is one of my favourite films, I love this film, it's my favourite, after Rambo, this is my favourite Stolen film of all time, Pacific Rim. A film that I picked up, I'd, I'd tried to watch so many times, being a Sons of Anarchy fan, I wanted to watch it since Brian Perryman and Anthony Holmes in it. But I couldn't get past, I just couldn't get past the opening scenes, the opening scenes, so I just kind of forgot about it and left it. And then it was on, I walked in and put it in Sky, because I wanted to watch it on the Sky. And that was on, right after the part, it was right, the part I always turned off on, was on, so I thought, well, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to watch this. And then I uh, instantly bought it in Blu-ray, because it's a good film. Another special Sony, Sony special edition is number 20. This is On the Waterfront, a Marlon Brando film. This is a great film. It's so This is a famous film as well. I could have been somebody, I could have been a contender. It's from this light, this film. It is a great film, all about mobsters. About the, it's all about the the mobsters owning the dock, docks in America years and years ago. Du, du, Mortal Kombat! Oh, yeah. Another early buy for me in Blu-ray, I had to pick up because it's Mortal Kombat. It's one of those films everybody loves and everybody remembers. And it's really bad, but really good at the same time. Film, another thing, this is, a TV, this is the only single DVD I own from a film. This uh, TV show, this is Nikita, season one. This is not mine, this is uh, Allison's again, but because it's on Blu-ray, it sits in my collection. Uh, just we picked up cheap out of... Uh, see instant change and she's still not watching it because she hasn't been in the mood to watch it really. Now I'm at the film, New York, New York. I've not been out finished watching all this yet, I only got so far into it and then I turn it off and I had to go do something. So I'm going to go back and watch this again but what I've seen of it, great looking film in Blu-ray. The Curse of Chucky. This is the newest Chucky film. Uh, this is a good one, I quite like this one actually. It was quite a big, uh, twist was a bit seeable but it was a good watch. It was yeah, uh, it's, it's, it sticks to more of the Chucky scales that the first two was played did than, this, than these new seeds and Bride of Chucky's did. Cry Baby, Johnny Depp, comedy, musical, fantastic film. So bad, but so good, and really good written blu ray. The film's kind of made, that film was kind of made for blu ray, even though it was out in the 90s. 
last we start here. A Christmas Cardo, Jim Carrey. I know they one I picked up for half price just because I fancied watching it and I thought it looked good and blurry. I picked up Steelbook. Oh, I've got two Steelbooks actually. This is Sherlock Holmes, just because I picked this up actually from Zavi. This is the Zavi exclusive one. Yeah, it's, it's okay. It's an okay watch. It was an upscale which I forgot I had. I thought I didn't have it in DVD. I found out I had it in DVD. I had how much I'd watched it. The Hunger Games Part 1, I said I'd get to it. Uh, again, as I said, it's not mine, Saracen's, uh, just because it's, I put it, I put it in my collection. I put all, all my Blu-rays in the same collection. 300. Good one, Blu-ray. It's one of those ones everybody's seen. Nightmare on, the Nightmare on, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street isn't that, that's why I've only got it in the DVD. This is a Nightmare Before Christmas. <laughs> that's more like it. This is one of my favourite artists. I know I say Toy Story, this is my second favourite animated film, I love this film, I watch this film every single Christmas, without fail. The Fighter, a good Mark Wahlberg and Christian Bale film, not else really to say about this film that's not been seen before, it's a must watch, it's a good looking film. An Interview with a Vampire, uh, I really like this film, it's a good watch, it's a good vampire film, by Pat is fantastic, and in fact, it's a second Tom Cruise film, I have two Tom Cruise films! It's amazing how you do these and you realise what you've got. You don't realise what exactly who's in which film until you actually do this. So that's my second Tom Cruise film, but I actually bought that before I bought Legend. 22 Jump Street. Got the first one on DVD. Uh, the reason I bought this just because it was going cheaper. It was going at about the same price on DVD as it was on Blu-ray. So I picked up Blu-ray because I wanted it on my collection. I'll probably upscaled one as well because I like these films. are quite funny. Heat. Film everybody, film a lot of people have got on Blu-ray, it's not a, it's a very common one, a good watch as well, and I, I like it, it's one of my favourite, it's one of my favourite action films actually, I remember watching it growing up. Another one on the Sony's, this is number 16, this is Groundhog Day, another good watch, just recently picked it up as well, I picked up, I didn't pick that one up for Sony, the reason I picked it up because it was Groundhog Day. Another little pile here, this is Fast Pines at Richmond High, another good film, good coming age film, and it's still not my favourite one, I've not got to it yet, uh, I can see it, nearly at it, but it's a good film, and recently I just found out, this is kind of based on a true story, uh, that Carmen Crow wrote, he was also the writer and director for Almost Famous, if the reason I bought a Blu-ray player, I know that sounds silly, but this film I could not find anywhere in DVD, found it in HMV and Blu-ray, didn't have a Blu-ray player, I wanted a blue. I kind of wanted a Blu-ray player. This kind of swayed me because I wanted to watch this film again. Only watched it once since that time, but it's a good, good horror film which is not really known very much. But it's a good-looking film. It's a film you should kind of try out. Child's Play, the very first one. I've had this one for a while. There's one and two, uh, two and three, which I'll get to soon. I didn't. I just picked them up. I've had this one for a while. I like Child's Play. I've done a review for the first Child's Play actually on my channel. This is my favourite war film, favourite film I've got now, favourite war film of all time. This is Platoon. Charlie Sheen, fantastic, amazing in it. Great watch. Yeah. And it's really good looking in Blu-ray as well. Greg, this is a 3D version. I think I got this actually. Yeah, this is a blockbuster buy as well before it shut down. I wanted to film anyway. It's in 3D but it's in standard edition as well. It's a good watching film. I really like this film actually. It's a film that is compared to the original is really good, but I really want the original Blu-ray as well because I kind of don't mind the Blu-ray. It's a good pleasure of mine. Husk, another good horror film. I don't own many horror films, but this is a good horror film. This is a film that I've actually been meaning to watch the last couple of days in Blu-ray and I haven't picked I've not watched it since I picked it up. I keep meaning to and I keep watching something else instead because I'm not really in I'm not really in the mood to watch a horror. But I'm going to watch it very soon, I want to see what it looks in Blu-ray, but it's a good film without it being in Blu-ray. So, extended edition. So it's to, uh, I picked this one up because I remember Alison saying she was watching Sky and liked it. I picked it up for her to watch and she said, well, I didn't, I didn't say I liked it, she said, she's like, I could say it was okay. Okay. But I watched it anyway, I watched it with it and actually this film, the special features this film gave me a whole new respect for Angelina Jolie. Turns out she does her own stunt, stunts, and in this film she's hanging like from a thirty story building, and she's doing it, and she's doing it by her, well, she's doing it herself. Red, uh, standard action, old age horror. This is the old age action film when they're oldies. 
Uh, it's an okay watch. I picked it up. I've still not seen the second one. I keep meaning to pick the second one up on DVD and Blu ray, but I haven't done it yet. Another wee pile here. Underworld Awakening 3D, the only Underworld I've got, and I've still not watched it. Picked this up from, picked this up from Blockbuster before it closed down because I just watched the first one and I really liked the first one, so I thought I was going to watch them all. So I thought I'd pick it up quickly because it was there. Still don't own the third one because I think it's the fourth one, I remember. So whatever one I'm missing, I'm still missing one of them and I've still only seen half the second one because I wasn't really enjoying it. Tucker and Dale vs Evil, a hilarious film, I must watch. It's just funny as, it's really funny. The Departed, another Mark Scarcey film and this is the one that won him an Oscar. This is fantastic, well this is a great film. Jack Nicholson's great in it, Leonardo DiCaprio's great in it, Matt Damon who I don't really like is great in it. Matt Wahlberg is Matt Wahlberg and being awesome in it, and there's Mark Sheen's in it as well, he's awesome in it, great film. Another one of the Sony collection, this is the 25 year anniversary of Stand By Me, this is number 3. I picked this one up because it's in this, this packaging, and Alison said it was a good film, I couldn't remember the film that, yet, that much, so I picked it up and I had Michael from, no it's David, from Lost Boys, I thought I'd pick it up anyway. Uh, when I say David, I mean Kiefer Sutherland, Kiefer and Sutherland actually. Rise of the Planet Apes. No, I blew it. Obviously, I've got this one. I've got the first. I've got the second one. I've not got the DVD. I've not got the original ones in Blu-ray. I've got them all in DVD. I've got every one. I've actually got the first one twice in DVD. But I've got. I've only got the remakes on. DVD. I've only got these new versions on DVD. The Wolf of Wall Street. Another good Blu-ray, another Matt Scarcey film with Leonardo DiCaprio. One of my favourite films and it should have won an Oscar. It should have, it, it, it should have won an Oscar. It didn't, it was robbed. It should have won an Oscar. But hey, we can't we can't go back in the past and change things. Another film that was one of, I picked this up, this is a half price one. And I remember it was The Wizard of Oz. I remember getting this one, I made, made some day in my college class and buy a pound lolly. Because I wanted to see that One Direction pound a lolly for a pound. An HMV and I made them buy it so I could get it for a half price. I paid a fiver instead of a tenner. I would pay. I would actually pay ten pounds for it because it's paid so much in Blu-ray. I love this film in Blu-ray. It's one of my favourite Blu-rays I own actually. It's really good and it's Wizards of Oz, so it's it's great. Speed and uh, an average standard action film that everybody's seen. Robocop the original another average. Standard, it looks, it doesn't look too great in Blu-ray with the Ed 209s look really bad in Blu-ray, but again, it's standard, good watch. Red State, another Kevin Smith film on Blu-ray. That's one of my favourite Kevin Smith films, actually, I really like this film. Every one, my three films I have in Blu-ray from Kevin Smith are my three top favourite uh, Kevin Smith films. Favourite coming age film here is, this is Days and Confused, this is my favourite coming age film. Fantastic watch, amazing film. I watch this film every cup. I watch this film at least once a month. That's how much I love this film. It's start watchable as well. Come down from the creator or from the director of Adulthood. I uh, also Kidulthood. It's described as being adult uh, Kidulthood meets Saw, but it's really not. So it is a horror with a trap in a building and they're getting killed off one by one. A bit predictable, but it's an okay watch. Memento. This is a film that made me ill the first time I watched it. I had to buy it on Blu-ray just to watch it again, just to figure it out again, just to, so I could figure out exactly what I just watched. It made me watch it at college and it made me ill, but I had to watch it again and it, it makes more sense after a couple of times of watching it. This version does give you the option to make it chronological, but I, I've never done that. I don't want to do it. Child's Play 3, don't let it get to it. What a shut down, another good animated film. Okay looking blu ray, it's not as great, it, wouldn't, it wasn't as great as I thought it would look blu ray, I thought, it would, I thought it would look better. And last couple here, I think there's four, four here, four more here, as it has Drive. Now I found I got made watch in my first, this was my first year of college, uh, that was that other one sitting here, I had to buy it blu ray because I thought it would look really good in blu ray, I was mistaken. Commando, let off some steam Bennett. It's an Arnold Schwarzenegger action film. It's I love Arnold Schwarzenegger, one of my favourite action stars. Con Air, another, so another over the top action film. Put the bunny back in the box. Yeah, I'm going to say I did before I do any more quotes. And last but not least, Clerks, my favourite Kevin Smith film of all time. It's the 15 year anniversary one. 
I've got this on DVD and Blu-ray as well. In fact, every DVD, every Kevin Smith one I have is in both as well. This is a good white watch from Blu-ray. It's got in flat light. It's really good looking. So yeah, that is my entire Blu-ray collection. This is a long video. This is, uh, this is going to be over 45 minutes probably. Thank you very much for tuning in. I'm very surprised my phone is actually letting me record the whole video since usually it doesn't let me record two minutes. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching this very long video. Thanks for staying to me to the end. If you've seen this, thank you very much. And yeah, 100 videos. There will be more. And I may start doing some updates on Blu-rays on this channel as well. Just change it up a little and make it more interesting. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you later. Bye.